Rare Rising, my lovely butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy the content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. How's it going, guys? I hope everyone is having a blessed and amazing morning. I pray that everyone is taking care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. And I pray that you all are starting this year off right. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And I'm here today, guys, to deliver a very important message to you guys and to also give you some advice on how you can overcome this situation if this message resonates with you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be discussing how chosen ones are being attacked with their past by their gang stalkers and monitoring spirits. Guys, in these end times, many of you are really beginning to tap into your spiritual journey and the mission that God has for you as his chosen warrior. The purpose that he has placed on your life has a lot to do with your chosen path. When you begin to understand your spiritual gifts, from the Most High and how to use them. You begin to tap into your spiritual awareness. The things that you become aware of during that time are the things that used to be hidden in plain sight. You were blind to them due to heavy indoctrination. Now guys, these things could stem and usually do stem from your childhood. These are the things that you were used to experiencing when you were growing up. These are the things that you witnessed your family and others around you taking place in. It also allowed you to see some things that you probably didn't think you would experience as a child. You probably witnessed your family and others around you living unrighteous. Heavy drug or alcohol usage. It could just be things, you know, as simple as beer and marijuana. But you still experience these things at a young age. Gossiping, backstabbing, and confrontation amongst other family members. You know, and although... You were used to seeing many dysfunctional things take place in your family. You, even as a child, knew that something just wasn't right about these things. And you also noticed that some of these family members were beginning to treat you like an outcast as you were growing up. Now, chosen ones, by the time you were 11 or 12 years old, you had your entire family figured out. Meaning that you knew who the liars were, who the manipulators were, who the gaslighters were, the narcissists, and so forth. Now, you may have not known the specific name for the type of behavior that was taking place at that time, you know, due to you being a child. But you knew that something was off with your family. And as a chosen one, the Messiah opened your eyes at a young age. You were able to see things that some of the adults around you couldn't see. And at some point in your childhood, butterflies, you know, anywhere from the age of 11 to your early teens, you began to speak out about some of the situations that were taking place around you. And many of those situations were based around them teaming up against you and treating you unfairly in some sort of way. You began to realize that you were the black sheep of your family. Your siblings, your parents, and even other family members also used you as a scapegoat. And when you began to speak up, they always tried to silence you. Everyone teamed up against you, trying to gaslight you into believing everything is your fault. And guys, this continued throughout your childhood. And over the years, you realize that not only your family, but co-workers, friends, even, you know, partners 
have tried to silence you when you speak up for the truth. And due to their expertise in gaslighting and manipulation tactics that they've played against you, it got to a point where you became silent. You stopped speaking on the things, you know. And although you were experiencing injustice and persecution, God was still there. And because he allowed you to still carry a strong intuition due to your gift of discernment, which enabled you to still see through the false indoctrinations. You you still in some way felt defeated. You felt outnumbered. You even started to believe some of the put downs, the gas and the gaslighting tactics that were being used against you. Today, as you walk with God on your spiritual journey, he has led you to become aware of many things that you didn't know as well as many things that you needed confirmation on in the past. And this could include how people treated you, things that they said to you, you know, things that, you know, were done to you. And, you know, so many people had come against you so much and so often that you began to believe the reason that you were being mistreated was because you were actually doing something wrong. You began to feel that, you deserved what was happening to you. But fast forwarding, you now realize that it wasn't you. It was them. And in all actuality, you know, you were being indoctrinated to believe that, that they <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, that their attacks against you were actually valid. Now, guys, not everyone... You know, not only, I would say this, everyone cannot pull those games on you anymore. And, you know, because not only are you aware, you're spiritually aware, your discernment is on a million right now. You see past the demonic plots and plans that are being, you know, that's being formed against you. And these are the people that are close to you. They know a lot about you. And this is, this, you know, them being close to you and knowing a lot about you, this includes them witnessing some of the mishaps in your life. You know, the times when you were living unrighteously, like many of us, you know, we are human. We have all fell short from time to time in our lives. And we will continue to have mishaps in our lives because none of us are perfect and we never will be. But there comes a point where we begin to realize a lot of things that we're doing wrong in our lives that is hindering our relationship with the Most High. And we begin to change them. And you know, the difference is when these things happen to them, when they went through their times of unrighteousness and mishaps, you were always the one who didn't judge them and you would be there for them no matter what. On the other hand, when you went through your times of mishaps and unrighteousness, everyone, you know, either tried to make you feel bad or look bad in front of others or they gossiped about you behind your back to other people. Now that you've actually caught on to the deception You've decided to cut ties with certain people. And as a chosen one, you are a target. And you now realize that some people are just harboring the monitoring spirits that were assigned to you since birth to hinder you from your purpose. You, you know that now. Remember I mentioned, guys, in one of my previous videos how... The mannerisms, um, the certain things that they say, you begin to realize once the Most High, you know, blesses you with the discernment to realize that it's the same spirit that is trying to hinder you. And not only were they sent to spy on you and gather information to report back to handlers, 
who then send their gang stalkers to further surveil you, perform harassment tactics, perform witchcraft, because several witches and warlocks are gang stalkers. And they also operate through monitoring spirits. Now, guys, I've seen many comments in my videos saying that moving doesn't help when dealing with these situations. And I agree. In some cases, it doesn't. And the reason why is because when they lose contact, they use certain tactics to gather information on you because they can no longer pop up on you or call you because now you know that their intentions are not good. So now you're blocking all communication. So what they do is use someone close to you, someone that you stay in contact with often. Now, in many cases these days, um, many adult target individuals are being monitored and attacked by their own children. Now, whether your children are, you know, in their early childhood years, a teen or an adult, they can be indoctrinated you know, and used as a monitoring spirit against you. Now, this type of monitoring, monitoring attack usually takes place when your child is 18 to early adult years. Because these are the times where they're most, they're most gullible because they're trying to find themselves. So they're easily influenced. And these are the times where they're also able to go out into society more, you know, without being under the supervision of their parents all the time. So it's a good chance that they could bump into one of your gang stalkers, you know, one of your monitoring spirits in disguise. And they've already been watching knowing that you may have some have had some issues with your children, maybe, you know, a custody battle with the other parent, you know, maybe you could just be going with is through some issues with your children. Maybe they're, you know, being unruly towards you. It could be plenty of, you know, it's just whatever the monitoring spirit sees as a gap that they can pry into to actually turn into a tactic that they can use against you. Um, they use what I like to call the half truth tactic. And this is when they take bits and pieces of your past and they mix them with lies to paint you out to be a bad person. And this, you know, the type of people that usually do these things are people, like I said, that are close to you. It could be the opposite parent of the child. You know, if you guys, you know, went through a separation, you know, or a custody battle or, or anything like that. These type of things usually happen where they try and turn the children against the other parent for their own good. Um, you could have been in a narcissistic, abusive relationship and the other partner can be mad that you broke free from, you know, the control that they had over you. And so now they're using their children to, you know, try and further that indoctrination by trying to keep you under the false illusion that you're not good enough for God. You're, got, you're not good enough for your own children. You're not good enough for anyone, which is most certainly not true. The Most High loves you and he wants the best for you. A family member could do this, you know, because they know a lot about you as well. It could be close friends and partners. It just depends on what their motive is for doing it. And these are people who you were once close to or held a high stature. You know, you held them, you know, of a high stature. You spoke highly about them. And during your spiritual awakening, God revealed to you who these family members, you know, these partners, these fake friends, you know, he revealed to you who they really were. And at some point you decided to cut them off. You decided to repent and change your life. 
at this point, chosen ones, you are not the same person that you used to be. And since they can no longer be in your presence, since they can no longer indoctrinate your mind, since they can no longer manipulate and control you, they go out of their way to find things on you to hold against you in order to try and tarnish your name and ruin your reputation. And they especially try and do this to people who think highly of you. Because they're trying to add more people to their team to team up and fight against you. You're just that strong, chosen ones. You are just that strong. They continuously bring up the past, mixed with lies, to try and keep you confused and distracted. To try and discourage you on your spiritual journey. They also, you know, know that you've awakened from, from the indoctrination. You can no longer be gaslit. You know, you can no longer be controlled. And you can, you know, they know that with all of that, they can no longer get away with the plots and schemes that they used to lure in on you. Guys, these people know that you're chosen. Okay. They've, they've been knowing this for a long time, even before you knew. And the strong discernment and spiritual gifts that you possessed from the most high allows you to feel when someone is being deceitful towards you. So they can't figure out how you went from being this gullible, naive person, the person that let them get away with treating them bad, the person that let them get away with downing them in their face and to other people. They can't understand how you changed to this person that has caught on to what they're doing and you've disassociated yourself. They don't understand they under they know why, but they don't understand how they're not able to do it anymore. Their witchcraft is not working. The the gang stalking is not working anymore. The indoctrination is not working anymore. Just know that these days, positive change and truth are two things that scares your enemies. And when you begin to change for the better, it lets them know that not only are you walking with God, but you are beginning to break all of your generational curses and strongholds that has been placed in front of you all of these years. You're, you're, gonna, you're the one that's going to break these generational curses in your family, chosen ones. It also lets them know that they need to change and lets them know that they're still doing the same things. And it also weighs their conscience you know they think about all the wicked deceitful things that they've done and yet they still continue to do them they attack you with your past mixed with lies because that is literally the only thing that they can do to attempt to attack you at this point chosen ones you've overcome majority of their obstacles that they've placed in front of you they can't gang stalk you and really get to you like that because you're so used to it. You you know, it's becoming funny to you at this point. You're beginning to pick up on the monitoring spirit. So you know when to cut them off and how to avoid them now. They try and use people that you hold dear to your heart, like your children, you know, your parents, other family members to attack you with your past things that they know about you that is that no longer represents you because you are now reborn through the messiah you are not the same person that you used to be god loves you and he he proved that by showing you throughout all the things that they keep trying to bring up in your face you've been forgiven given for it and you've been redeemed through christ and he's allowing you to he be healed and restored in the name of his precious son, the Messiah. He's giving you a new life. He's allowing you to leave the past behind and walk in righteousness. And they're upset because they know that the new journey that the Lord has for you, it doesn't include them. They can tell by how the way you've changed. You don't look the same. You don't talk the same. You don't act the same. You even changed the way that you eat. Your diet has even changed. Your prayer life is stronger. You speak with more positivity.
monitoring spirits that dwell inside of them has been assigned to you since birth chosen ones to monitor distract and attack you they know who you are and they always have god has a special mission for you and with that you also come with a pure heart and the desire to speak and stand for truth in this world guys truth is not permitted anymore and because we now live in a time where you know evil is good and good is evil many people's discernment is really thrown off chosen ones don't let anyone your parents your siblings not even your children your friends or your partners attack you with your past because everybody has one and should never and it should never be used against a person you know to put yourself down and to let others put you down don't let them use your past against you as a reason to be afraid to move forward to let anyone make you feel like you aren't good enough to make you feel like it's too late for you to change you're never too too young or too old to change it's never too late to change it's never too late to come to god he's always here He's not going to force himself upon you like Satan tries to force himself upon you. You see how he comes through other people and tries to force his control and manipulation upon you to try and keep you hindered and indoctrinated to desensitize your mind and to feel that you don't need the most high when you most certainly do. The most high is a jealous God. He wants your time and attention because he knows the evil plots and plans that the enemy has for you. Just imagine how upset the Lord gets when he's watching down over us, seeing us actually be lured in to evil deception and manipulation. When he shows us signs and a lot of the times, you know, we're so caught up in worldly things that we choose to ignore them. That's what's going on with a lot of the people that's around you. So when you speak truth, it irritates the demons within. Guys, always know that the Most High will accept you as you are. Because he has a plan that will bring great change in your life. And these gang stalkers and these monitoring spirits, they know this. And that's why they're always constantly trying to keep you down. Because they know that he has a plan for you. They see the light around you. They know that you're special. So they try and hinder you from your breakthrough. You may not be exactly where you want to be. But you have come a long way, which is why you experience gang stalking and monitoring spiritual attacks. You were experiencing these attacks when you were under indoctrination, but you didn't understand that they were attacks because you were indoctrinated. Now that you've awakened from the spell, you see the indoctrination. You see the spells that were placed on you. And now you can it, it allowed you to recognize and to be able to distinguish gang stalkers from monitoring spirits. Guys, 2024 is the year for a breakthrough for you. And don't let anyone or nothing distract you from it. God has something special for whoever is listening to this video right now. Whoever is watching this video right now. This is your year. This is your time. Take care of yourself. Let the Holy Spirit guide you into your purpose. And continue to stand into your truth. I love you guys. You guys are very special. I want you to know that each and every last one of you has a special purpose 
on this planet. Each and every last one of you were assigned a demon, a monitoring spirit to try and distract you. And guess what? They may have succeeded, but that was only so the Most High can show you how these people were so you can recognize when you come into your spiritual awakening. Because now they can't stop you. It's time. I love you guys so much. I hope this message was confirmation for someone. I hope this message inspired someone. I want you guys to know that this is your year. Nothing can stop you because you are being guided and protected by the Most High, Yahweh. In the name of His precious Son, the Messiah. I love you guys so, so much. I want you guys to stand up for whatever you believe in. I want you guys to step into your purpose and I want you guys to go hard. I believe in you. I pray for you guys. And I really appreciate all the love and support that you give me. Let's support each other. When you guys watch my videos, when you guys comment in the comment section, when you guys share the videos, like the videos, that's all the support I need. I don't need money. I don't need any of that. The time that you put into my videos is most certainly appreciated and is enough for me. And I want you guys to know that. This channel is grown off of organic love and support. And we are at 952 supporters. And I couldn't be more grateful and excited. Guys, check out the Patreon if you are led to. Um, I have an Instagram. Um, Awakened Butterfly underscore seven. I have more content coming for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. This is your year. Don't forget. Your breakthrough is coming. The Messiah loves you. Always know that. God loves you. Continue to be led by the Holy Spirit. Continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. And until the next video, guys, peace and blessings. Mwah.